I, I share the sentiments of Jamal Krumah, and um, there is a lot of pride, uh, you know, f uh, the countries in Africa and Sudan being the largest country in Africa and the disappointment of uh, Sudan splitting. But we need to look at the, uh, at the history of the conflict itself. And as I mentioned earlier, if people are going to be in Sudan as a whole, two civil wars, 39 years people are killing themselves, I mean, there has to be a, a resolution to that conflict. Uh, we say that the, there are voices to speak that the split of uh, countries in Africa is not good for Africa. But when you combine the two civil wars in Sudan, uh, you're looking at uh, approximately 5 million people dead. So how can we continue in that, uh, in that one country? For example, the SPLM has been fighting for the very unity of Sudan. But again, that did not work. Dr. John said, let's give unity a chance and, uh, and, and we'll see what happens because unity is number one. The, the position of Egypt as well, they would like to see Sudan united. Africa to be, uh, you know, countries in Africa to be united. But the question is that the death and the destruction has been continuing for so long mm -hmm. and people are tired. So there has to be a resolution to the conflict. So I think the split of Sudan is going to uh, benefit many countries in Africa, many African leaders, to see that the, uh, the, the problems of uh, discrimination, the issues of uh, political, social, and economic marginalization all address the issue of health care, of, uh, of uh, social services are delivered to the people. And then there is uh, good governance. Institutions of government are in place as well as the civil society saying that people participate in the government and the participation in the development of their own country, that there is freedom for the people. And I think it should not be taken in a negative way that Sudan is split. I think it will help, you know, Africa move forward.